Okay, time for some combat in this place now. They start you off with a silent 10mm pistol and a trench knife. And they don't give you a whole lot of silenced pistol ammo right now until you get across this bridge area we're coming up on. So you either gotta start getting good with your trench knife or really make these shots count. As you can see towards the end of this bridge, I have to start getting good with my trench knife. As you can see, I'm wasting a lot of ammo here on this guy when he should already be dead. So these are the health canisters that are going to replenish our health. We're not going to be using stim packs, we're going to be using those health canisters. They are unlimited, and the ammo packs will also be unlimited. So you might constantly see me running back and forth each ammo or health pack, just so I can make sure I have full health. Even the littlest amount of health can save your life, so you always want to try to have full health whenever possible. Now, uh, if it looks like I'm not good at shooting, it's not really me as much as it is a game, because this game really isn't made to be a straight first-person shooter. And if you're watching this based on looking for a walkthrough, I'm sure you know that. The aiming is not so tight. The uh, the shooting can sometimes be a little sticky, as in you'll pull the trigger maybe three or four times, and sometimes it'll shoot maybe one or two bullets. That's just how the game is made. It's not made to be a straight first-person shooter, so you gotta get used to it. So this is a guy where I gotta start using my trench knife. Getting a little low on ammo here, so... And of course I'm missing in VAT, which is a little crap. But luckily the trench knife does a fairly decent amount of damage. Look, this guy doesn't even know what's going on. And you want to head to the right, and over here you'll find... I believe this is the only area where you'll find a sniper rifle in this whole expansion pack. So you want to grab that one right there, because it's going to be a lot of help. And then as you run here, you're going to find your first ammo pack. Ammo dispenser. And there will also be a Chinese assault rifle in here, which is going to come in a lot. We're going to be using it a very lot, probably 90% of this whole game we're going to be using it. So take a minute to hotkey all, uh, all your weapons, so you can switch right in the middle of combat, if need be. And these guys always seem to come up behind you, I don't know exactly where they came from. Sometimes they'll be behind you, or sometimes they'll be waiting in this room for you. And regardless of your skill, the sniper rifle headshot is always a instant kill. For now, at least. Later on in this expansion, it will not do instant kills, at least to certain enemies. But for now, we're going to make very good use of it. Look at that. Look how beautiful that mess is. And it's also really hard to manually aim the sniper rifle until you start getting your small gun skill up. Once you get a hundred small gun skill, the sniper rifle won't move at all when you're aiming at it. You can see how it's got kind of the breathing thing going on. So once you get to a hundred small guns, which we will do by the end of this walkthrough, because I felt like it. You're going to see me just straight max out my small gun skill first because it comes in a lot of use. Does that even make sense? Comes in a lot of use because I'm pretty sure that's the second time I've said that. 
Eh, whatever. We need English. We're playing video games. So there will always be a couple of guys in the pipe. The one downside to this expansion pack is that you can't loot anybody. Because they all disappear. See, now I'm just kind of adding a couple of them to small guns, but maybe three or four videos down the line when I start leveling up more, I'm just going to put them all into small guns because nothing else really matters in here at least. This isn't a walkthrough based on what levels I pick to level up with, I'm sure. If you're playing this, you're already a higher level. The only reason I made a new guy for this was because I had already beaten this on my main guy. So I'm almost done this whole section. Get off these cliffs and pipes and all that garbage. Take care of this guy for good measure. He doesn't even know hit him. He's gonna fall to his untimely death. So this is pretty much it for this area, you just gotta head through the doors and we're gonna meet up with Benji. So we'll catch you in the next video. Damn, this place is swarming with reds. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I almost bought it out on the cliffs. Didn't know the reds were so handy with a sniper rifle. So, what's the situation? We clear to blow the hell out of this place? I got your six. <laughs>